we're still running these. We might run this. We're definitely gonna run these. I really like the crop rotation package. I will miss this. I would love to get this back in the deck, by the way. That make me happy. I know there were a couple people who just didn't see why it's so awesome. I liked it a lot. I liked that this was both ramp in our deck and also um, utility. I like the crop rotation too much. I know we should let go of it. I just I just like that too much in popper. Although tip, this is something typical to like you see this more like in just like a mono green tron. Uh, so this deck is actually built around mandrills. We're running essentially six copies of mandrills. Well, how do you do that? Well, you run Fierce Empath. When Fierce Empath enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card with CMC six or greater. Reveal, put it into your hand. This doesn't put on top. This puts into hand. Also gives you one more, which is, I guess, maybe sometimes useful. I'd still love to build around the rotation. A lot of people that were hating on the rotation aren't here. Maybe I could still put that in there. Test. I know someone can test against. That'd be sweet, Free Will. Yeah, Free Will is playing Popper. That would be sweet. I would be down. Do you want to see my Delver deck, Free Will? I have Storm, Sneak and Show Elves, Oops, All Spells, Metals, Grudge. Oh, but this, this combo is sweet, though, Ike. This is where we left off with... Is it Clout? We also brewed a second version, didn't we? I brewed a more expensive version where we're going to borrow Snaps, hopefully. No, 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 no. Hang on, no, no, no. This is the cuter version. Uh, the better version is this guy, right? No, it's the worst version. Did it get better or worse? Fudge. Open a new copy. Where do we leave off with? Is it clout? Fudge. Yeah, where did I leave off with this? What's the one that had this finished sideboard? This one. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna kick it off from here. I ended up cutting the sea sprites. They weren't doing enough, and then I cut the slash. I think. We're still running the Crispy Mage and the Bouncer. I'm into that. Oh no, we cut the Crispy Mage. We started running the... <laughs> we ran the... Mer oh man. This guy is a Merfolk Goblin. Wonderful. Clout for the win. We were running a 2 of Hunter. I'm not joking. I wish I was. We were going to test a 2 of Hunter. And then I really do want another Hydro Blast. Oh, that's the donation goal. I set it to like a month or something longer. Just because I know it's expensive and it may take a long time for us to get some donations in. I'm, I'm a patient person. Seriously. You might not... Oh, Crisp Mage, get out of there. You might not agree, but I can be very patient when I want something. Maybe a smash? Maybe a second smash to Smithereens? Artifact Hate seems like a fine option. Oh, I have, pro I have promo ones? I didn't need to buy that. It was cheap, though. These don't even match, though, if I want to run two of. This is the promo art. Yeah. I'd rather just get one that matches for my hand. I know, we're being picky over something that's irrelevant. I also was disappointed these were the gush I had. First world problems. Don't sweat it. Um, yeah, we're going to cut the Guile. That was a pet card of mine, and the Trickster. Although I like Trickster with things like Force Spike and Daze and Spell Pierce, but... Probably should cut it. Be a little more stocky. This is me brewing for the future anyway. We, I'm just trying to stick uh, a bunch of snapbacks in here, is really all I'm trying to do. Bases, sprites, these are freebie spells. Sprite, Crusader, Bolt. So the last card to go is probably the Fury. Because it only has good synergy with what? It only has good synergy with the Crusader. Oh no, we found a way to get value off the Crusader though. We found a better way. Claw of the Dominus also does. Dominus gives us a... Anytime you bounce the Crusader, you also get value. Yeah, Clout. We run some Vapor Snags too. I'd rather run Snap though, because Snap is free. Why don't you like mismatched darts? I'm just not a fan. Oh, somebody had some Snaps he said we could borrow. I like Snap a lot in this shell, especially since we can get value out of it. Gives us more free spells. So then we'd be running 18 free spells, which is more solid. I need to make two cuts though somewhere. Right. The gush are really awkward by the way in this deck, I'm not gonna lie. They're hard. They are hard to pull off. They're tough. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, bottom line, they're tough. I, I like Gush. I think Gush is great. It's basically the only draw I'm running outside of Pro, right? I'm going to do this version. This was kind of all in on the clouts and just protecting a Delver or a Crusader. Um, um, I mean, I like the Gush. I like that it can refuel us. Um, Let me, let, me op let me open a new version. Hang on. Uh, I've been trying to build Popper and Champions for three months. Can't figure it out. Oh, that's the worst thing. Didn't you play us, though, with your Champions deck? I thought it was fine. Here's another thing we can do. Hang on. Here's another thing we can do. Um, I Just because I don't own the snaps and we have to borrow these, we can just cut these, and then we free up some slots for some stuff. Uh, we can either keep testing the Mark. My problem with Mark is all that it does for other creatures than Crusader is it gives us a hasty creature. Okay, that's great. Why do we need that? What it does for Crusader, though, is fantastic. So let's look at Mark and see what it does. I have one or two of that card. I would only run a one of. So what does this card do? Uh, so Chantry has haste at the beginning of the end step, return the Mark to the hand. So basically this is single red... Put it on the Crusader, at least target the Crusader, get a 1-1 one, one haste, great. It returns to our hand next turn, we can do it again. And we can do it again. And we can do it again. It was bad though because I don't have stable red sources. I don't. If I'm going to be running the Simeons to speed up the combo, which is nice, you can go turn 1 Crusader and then slap the Clout. The better play is to go turn 1 Island, Delver, is it uh, Simeon Spirit Guide into Cloud of the Dominus, put the Cloud of the Dominus on the Delver if they have anything to remove that few days ideally um or you snap back at least you keep the delver you lose the clout though which is brutal but at least you get to protect the uh the delver people don't play around snapback a lot of people don't even play around days because it's so expensive um we could go heavier on gush we could also run a different card that synergizes with uh crusader which was i mean you can run vapor snag you run snags you could run um what's another card we could run uh, rebound. There's the rebounds. Jeez, uh, we still have that card. You could run the rebound spell, which is this. We talked about it. Find it. Uh, distortion strike. Not horrendous. You can pitch it to a snapback. We also can. And this this also gives power. Somebody suggested the one with flashback. I prefer the distortion. Both of them are sorceries. I mean, this is another way to get value out of the Crusader. This will give us two soldiers over the course of a couple turns and make the Crusader unblockable. I think this is the better option. I mean, the deck can't support... I can't support more than two or three Gushes. I just can't. I've tried. We can maybe run a couple Distortion Strikes, see how we like it. At least this has other uses. Let's just sneak through those last few points of damage and then bolt them to death. What do you guys think about testing maybe some Distortion Strikes for Synergy with Crusader? Minus Hooded Hydra Foil 85. What? So let's grab some... Until we have the extra Hydra Blast, we'll run something else on the board. Maybe just the fourth Spell Pierce. That might be fine. It's not fine. It's not as good. Obviously, Hydra Blast more flexible in that matchup, but... Um, we'll try out the Hunters. Somebody wanted me to run Hunter because it's a better... It's a nice target for Clout, other than uh, Spell Stutter and Delver. I mean, Crusader's a fine target for the Clouts, because you still get a 1-1 one -one haste. It's not the best target, though. Yeah, Ray Razor Fin plus Cloud is sweet. You get a 3-3 three, three, uh, Shroud Pinger. Or Attacker, whatever you want to do with it at that point. Hydro Blast? Hydro Blast. So let's curve this and then see if we want to play it. Would you guys like to see this? I know Free Will might, because Free Will, you play Delver. In Popper, you're playing, you're trying to play Grixis Delver. Would you be interested in seeing how this one works? It's actually really cool. It just I in all my playtesting so far, it really gets under the skin of your opponent. It just goes beneath what they're trying to do. Most every time, and if you don't, well, you probably lost. But when you do, you usually just win. Not straight up, but slowly but surely. Ooh, I also would like to test my pet card though. The bounce spell. Dead and gone. Farfnix says I'd love like to see it. Will says I'd love to see it. Got it. Dead and gone. I'd like to keep testing a dead and gone. I like Dead and Gone a lot. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see it. Alright. 
Uh, I need to buy the cards we're missing, but that shouldn't cost us anything. Hunters, another smash to smither. Um, this shouldn't take long. We should be able to get all our cards from Card Hoarder. probably expected to see a lot more control, but did you see how, like, uh, the sideboard was really just aimed at control? He was probably expecting a lot more control, and it really wasn't. There was maybe, I would only categorize maybe two, or maybe, maybe if you want to stretch it, three decks in the whole tournament that were, I would consider control decks. Ours, his, and Saffron's. Everybody else's deck I wouldn't even... Maybe you can consider Jeff's deck a control deck of sorts, but those threats wouldn't be good against Restore Balance. Alright, here we go. Uh, search options. Use the tools, scroll all the way down through all of our legacy uh, modern birds to the uh, So we need cards for Blaster Jack anyway. Quicksand. <laughs> and then, uh, is it Cloud? Which version? Fudge, which version am I on now? You're on 1.0 number 2. This one. Uh, no we're not. What? Goblin Tinker? Um, I am not on this version. Okay. 1.1. I don't remember having a Tinkerer. That was the supplement for the Gorilla Shaman. It's a really bad impersonator. If you don't have Gorilla Shamans, you could try Tinkerer. Let me pull up that card again just to talk about it briefly. Goblin. If you're trying to get into Popper, I actually think Tinkerer is better than people realize. Tinkerer. As like a budget Mox, uh, Mox Monkey or Gorilla Shaman, whatever you want to call this guy. This is the one that's one, zero, or XX. Is one, destroy a non-creature artifact with converted mana cost. X. This one you have to pay red for and tap him. So obviously he's just strictly worse. He's also two mana versus one. Uh, but this is a fine alternative if you're, if you're removing specifically small uh, sized artifacts. Yeah, Tinker is a fine alternative to Gorilla Shaman if you don't own Shaman. I'd recommend this one for you, actually, Free Will. Why don't you get some Tinkerers, man? They're cheap. They're like, uh, Tinkerer is 0 .05. A lot of people haven't realized that this does a lot of the same things as the Shaman, just more slowly and more expensive. So it's, it's strictly the worst card, but it can do the same thing. It's recurrable. You can do it multiple times to remove small artifacts against some of the artifact opponents you'll face. Alright, let's see. Um, Alright, search tools. Let's see if we can pull up the proper deck this time. Clopper, hmm, is it Clout? 1.1, select. Uh, he doesn't have the... Yes, he does! He has the... Okay, that's all that we were missing. Sweet. Uh, submit. Free Will says, yeah, sounds decent. It's a budget alternative for you, uh, Free Will, in, in the meantime before you get your Mox Monkey someday. I know you're playing on a budget, dude. That's an awesome alternative. I might even run a split of Gorilla Shaman and that other guy, just to have more of that effect until I get more Shamans. I mean, Recurrable Artifact Removal is sweet, although the Smashes are fine. Dead and Gone's awkward because it's only creatures, though. Um, although this was taking the place of... I had a I had a, a one of Flame Slash that doesn't hit the opponent either. All right, let's jam. Let's jam with this version of... Is it Clout? Is it? Yeah, is it Clout? All right, uh, format. Popper. Rebellion. Now we're going to play this one. Sorry, I'm just looking for someone random. We can play in the future, though, Will. I'm down. So, Clouts. Yeah. 
I mean, you can get value out of Clout by putting it on a Sprite. You can get value out of Clout by putting it on Crusader. The best target 